Look everyone, it's the Ramadan moon. Assalamu alaikum children. Isn't Ramadan such an exciting month? I love Ramadan. Do you? Today we are going to learn some interesting facts about Ramadan. Did you know the word Ramadan means one that burns? According to scholars, in this month the sins are burnt away. Therefore, it is called Ramadan. Also, it is the month in which the Qur'an was revealed to Prophet Muhammad That's right, Kazwa. During Ramadan, the doors of Jannah are open and the doors of Jahannam are closed and the devils are chained up. The month of Ramadan begins when the new moon is sighted on the 29th of Sha'ban. Otherwise, it starts after the 30 days of Sha'ban are complete. Hey Zeki, I think it's time to go and get ready for Ramadan. That's a great idea, Kazwa. I'm sure the kids at home also want to get ready for this great month. Until next time, inshallah, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you are all enjoying Ramadan just as we are. Did you know that Ramadan is also known as the month of the Quran? That is because the Quran was first revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa during this month. Oh, so does that mean Jibreel alayhi salam came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the cave of Hira during this month? That's right, Kazwa. The Qur'an was completely revealed over a period of 23 years, 13 years in Mecca and 10 years in Medina. And the Qur'an contains 114 surahs or chapters and 6,236 Ayat or verses. Yes, and we should remind each other during Ramadan to recite and learn as much of the Quran as possible so that we may earn more rewards. Zaki, I have to prepare iftar for tonight. I'm making vegetable soup. Mmm, that sounds delicious, Kazwa. It's now time to go. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Did you have a yummy iftar? Maybe you ate spaghetti or perhaps chicken with rice. Let me guess, you had mm, a delicious healthy salad. Remember, we should try very hard to eat well and avoid overeating during Ramadan. Here are some iftar tips we can all follow. Say in the dua for breaking the fast. When breaking his fast, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say, ذَهَبَ الظَّمَاءِ وَابْتَلَّتُ الْعُرُوكِ وَثَبَتَ الْأَجْرُ إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ Which means, the thirst is gone, the veins are moistened, and the reward is certain, if Allah wills. We should always break our fast with dates and then water. When breaking our fast, we should make lots of dua and ask Allah for many good things. Eat some fruit or a light meal and then pray Maghrib. This will give your stomach time to get ready for the main meal. Take your time to enjoy your food. Avoid overeating, as this can make you feel too tired and make it difficult to concentrate during Taraweeh prayers. 
Drink water during the night to keep your body hydrated. Remember to eat with your right hand and say Bismillah before eating and Alhamdulillah when you finish. Well, it's getting close to iftar time. I better get the dates and water ready. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Do you want a house built for you in Jannah? I'm sure you do. Well, did you know that if you pray 12 rak'at or units of sunnah prayers with your five daily prayers, then Allah has promised to build you a house in Jannah. In Ramadan, we receive so many rewards for all our good deeds. We should always find new ways to gain even more rewards. Praying our sunnah prayers is one way we can do this, insha'Allah. Now, let's count the 12 sunnah prayers. Before Fajr prayer, we pray two rak'at. Before Dhuhr prayer, we pray two rak'at and then another two rak'at. After we pray Dhuhr prayer, we pray another two rak'at. So far, that is eight rak'at. After Maghrib prayer, we pray two rak'at. After Isha prayer, we pray two rak'at. That is a total of 12 rak'at units of Sunnah prayers. Are you going to do your best to pray your Sunnah prayers? Inshallah you all do. Always remember to take your time and make the intention to concentrate whilst praying. I better go make wudu so I can pray my Sunnah prayers. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Isn't water amazing? It's such a fascinating creation of Allah. It has no color or smell, yet it tastes delicious and it is so good for you. Did you know our bodies are made up of 80% water? We need to keep our bodies hydrated by drinking plenty of water every day. Without water, our bodies would stop working properly. Our bodies have many important jobs to do and water plays a very important part. For instance, our blood, which contains a lot of water, carries oxygen to all the cells in our bodies. Here are some of the best times to drink water. Before going to bed, when you first wake up, 30 minutes before having a meal, 30 minutes after having a meal, before having a shower, when breaking your fast. It is important to drink small amounts of water at a time and to make sure it is not icy cold. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, advised us to drink water in three sips. Do you know what we should say before and after drinking water? That's right, Bismillah before we drink and Alhamdulillah once we have finished. Water is such an amazing part of our lives and we should do our best not to waste a single drop. Alhamdulillah, many of us have fresh, clean water in our homes. However, there are some who do not. Did you know that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, made wudu with just two handfuls of water? Here are some ways we can save water. Turn the tap off whilst brushing your teeth. Have a shorter shower. Use only as much water as we need when making wudu. Pour any unused water onto the soil in the garden. Till next time, remember to save water 
and stay healthy and happy inshallah assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum everyone. Do you know where we are going to pray Asr? We are going to the Masjid. Did you know that if we pray at the Masjid, we receive 27 times more rewards for our prayers? Subhanallah, that's so many extra rewards Zeki. And in Ramadan, our good deeds are multiplied even more. That's right Kazwa. And if we pray Isha at the Masjid, we receive the reward of praying half of the night. If we then pray Fajr the next morning at the Masjid, we will receive the reward of praying the entire night. SubhanAllah! The Masjid, which is also called the House of Allah, is a very special and important place. And we must be on our best behavior when we visit. Here are some important things we can all remember to do when we next visit the masjid. Make wudu, brush our teeth and smell our best. Wear nice, clean clothes. Enter the masjid with your right foot and say Bismillahi wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Allahumma iftahli abwaab rahmatik. Say salams to everyone with a smile. Pray two rak'at before we sit down. Try to sit in the front rows and stay very quiet. At Jummah, Friday prayer, we must listen carefully and avoid talking whilst the Imam is giving the khutbah. If you see any rubbish, Pick it up and place it in the garbage bin. When it is time to go, leave the masjid quietly with your left foot and say Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah Allahumma inni as'aluka min fadlika Zeki, prayers are about to begin. We better join the others. Yes, we must go now. Insha'Allah, you two have the opportunity to spend lots of time at the masjid. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Kazwa, did you forget that we are fasting? Oh. So what happens if someone accidentally eats or drinks while fasting, Zaki? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that if we forget that we are fasting and eat or drink, we should complete our fast. For it is Allah who has fed us and given us drink. Oh, that's a relief. Alhamdulillah. We should try our best to fast during this month so that we can receive great rewards, insha'Allah. Fasting can be a challenge and we sometimes become thirsty or hungry. Here are some things we can do to make fasting during Ramadan easier for us all. Avoid eating raw garlic, onion or other foods that can make us feel thirsty. When playing sports, take a break if we feel tired or thirsty and slow down. Avoid staying up very late at night. This may cause us to miss suhoor and cause us to feel tired during the day. Avoid becoming angry or using bad language. Eat a small amount at iftar time and avoid overeating. This can make us feel tired when it is time for tarawih prayers. It is a good idea to speak with your parents about fasting during Ramadan. This will help you to make a plan for the month and complete your fasting to the best of your ability, insha'Allah. For our younger friends, it may be better to start fasting part of the day until you get a little older, insha'Allah. 
Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Do you know what time it is? It's quiz time with Zaki. Which of these meats is haram or forbidden to eat? Is it A. Beef B. Pork C. Chicken Or is it D. Lamb The answer is B. Pork Which of these drinks is haram or forbidden to drink? Is it A. Orange juice B. Milk C. Alcohol Or is it D. Cordial The answer is C. Alcohol Which fruit did Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam eat when breaking his fast? Is it A. Dates B. Apples C. Oranges Or is it D. Sultanas The answer is A. Dates In which month was the Qur'an revealed? Is it A. Rajab B. Ramadan C. Muharram Or is it D. December The answer is B. Ramadan How many surahs, chapters does the Qur'an have? Is it A. 110 B. 112 C. 114 Or is it D. 99 The answer is C. 114 Which month of the Islamic calendar is Ramadan? Is it A. The 3rd B. 9th C. 10th Or is it D. The 12th The answer is B. 9th When do we break our fast? Is it A. Asr B. Maghrib C. Isha Or is it D. In the afternoon? The answer is B. Maghrib I hope you all did well in the quiz. If you didn't, that's okay. You can try again later. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum.